I, I know, I know it's like almost a meme at this point, but have you seen the moon lately? The moon. It was totally broken when we started this season, and then it disappeared altogether, and then it came back. And to me, it looks like it's been fixed. It seems a little suspect, and I would really like if we could figure out what the heck is going on. I have a way for us to get there. You made a spaceship. Oh. Yes. Oh, I've got this flag look um, that I'm going to put on the moon to claim it for TB, oh, that it's all nice. nice. First time we've had that's a nice, nice moon. Wow. wow that's okay, cool. we are ready to okay, roll. Okay, this is legit. This is crazy. This is really cool. Look at the pretty star. Look at that. Wow. Gently landed, wow. no crashing. Wow. Amazing. Wow. What's the sign say? Uh, we fixed the moon. You're welcome, world builders. Okay, right. I'm putting the flag down. This is very Woo exciting. Wow, that, that is very new. fancy. That is really fancy. Uh, really oh, 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 what did you do, Wait, Foxy? Oh, oh. 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 What's the oh. move? Oh. Well, that could have been move. worse. Oh. Well, hang on a bit. <laughs> What? No. Foxy, oh, you I think we're all right. Wow. Oh, uh -oh. No. oh, geez. This is a it's very brittle uh, moon. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Guys. Uh oh. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Back to the ship. No. Back, Back to, to the, the ship. ship. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, wow. What could go wrong? That's not a noise I recognize. It's it's that's a idea. distress like, signal what's noise. What's going on? That's the rubbish radio station. What? That's, that's Mr. Runyon. What? 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 He's still alive? I guess we're going to go rescue him. Let's do this. If you can, please go as quickly as you can to come out and rescue me. I would really appreciate it. And this is definitely not a trap. This way, this way. Well yes. done. Have a look at Steve right behind you. Go faster, go faster. Ah, look at me now. Yeah, go for it. Go, just stand in. <laughs> okay, okay. There we go. Come on, Slag. Amazing. Yay! <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Hey, well, Mr. Onion's not in here, though. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, where's Mr. Onion? And how do we get out? Uh, um... Is there a way out? You were expecting to find Mr. Onion, weren't you? But instead you found my trap. Who am I? That's not really important right now. You should be more concerned about what I am. I mean, what did you expect to be hidden behind the ancient city portals? The ancients put a lot of mechanisms in place to make sure I'd never escape, but you just had to ignore those warnings and see for yourselves, didn't you? You see, I've been watching you closely, and I'm not impressed. World after world you've laid a constant path of destruction. Devastating worlds, destroying dimensions and breaking the moon over and over again. You're like a broken record. Each season you're gifted pristine new worlds, precisionly built by the world builders with new and exciting features to discover and explore. But you waste them. You complain that things aren't good enough, and that the features are too buggy. Never satisfied you find adventure in concocting new methods to destroy and demolish. Well no more. No more new features for you. No camels, no chiseled bookshelves, no hanging signs or bamboo with blocks. I'm sending you to a new world, one that, let's say, didn't make the cut. A boring, insignificant world, with nothing new, nothing to spoil and no reason for anyone to care when you inevitably ruin it all with your insolence. And now that you've given me access to the infinite realms, I can finally unleash my plans. You see, when Mr. Onion wandered in here, I sensed his robotic nature and realized that by harnessing his power, I can become even more powerful. And what will I do with all of this power you ask? That's none of your business. Goodbye. And I punch it. Oh, no. Hey, whoa! Oh, no. Ah, jeez! Oh, oh, that got very loud out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, oh, my okay. Yeah, very confused to very scared. Very quickly. So welcome uh, to Minecraft. Yeah. Go punch a tree. Um, oh, guys, oh, no trees. This Dips isn't season four. Dips on the boat. Oh. Every raft. Fish, fish. Uh, it's I'm to Whoa. Where's the trees? What are these? Uh, nothing here. Oh, uh, the trident drowned already. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, great. Drowned. <laughs> oh no. Um, what are we away. surrounded by? It looks like there's stuff offshore. There's yeah, there's boats, boats out there. Hold up. Yeah, boats. There's like little platforms. Rafty oh, looking oh, things. Oh, oh spruce. Rafty. I'm having the spruce. Uh, so are we gonna talk about what happened? Yeah, are we gonna talk about like the robot in, in the sky thing? Why? Or... 
Uh, oh my for one, because we definitely, our team definitely scored a high score on the entire Warden challenge. Yeah. 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 It's true. Mm. I'm just. I really want to know if I should be proud of that or not, given that uh, apparently the entire thing has been a trap. <laughs> mm. Well. I'm slightly more. Ooh, there's, there's lava buckets in these boats. I'm slightly more concerned that uh, we, we didn't rescue Mr. Onion. Well, you he's... stood there and did nothing. I thought of he was your friend. Like, well, she's I, I was... responsibility. <laughs> I was a bit like stunned by what was going on. So mm -hmm. unarmed. So I can't you know. twerk to get this tree to grow. <laughs> what am I supposed to? Wait. Have you heard of bone meal, uh, Jesse? No. Jeez. Where am I supposed to get that? Fish. Oh. Don't they do? Run oh. away. Fish. Away. Come here, fish. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. This is season zero all over the place. Ah, I got a bone. You can run, dolphins. Um, what? 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 Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Foxy No Tail, here on Truly Bedrock Season 5. And I can already see some very interesting looking things being built around here. There is the mass of a pirate ship made by Zloy XP, a house made by Jesse B, which literally wasn't there a moment ago. And of course, we've got my lovely little raft here. We've also got JCB's starter base, which has disappeared. And if you don't know, at the beginning of this season, we're all on rafts around this main island, which is Spawn Island. And basically, we have to stay here for 48 hours and we're not allowed to the mainland until the 48 hours are over, which means it's kind of like Skyblock. Now, I have been collecting many, many wood. I've got lots of spruce trees, as you can see, and I've even got myself a little wheat field grown. Oh, hello, Wondering Trader. I've got a Wandering Trader, and get, guess what, guys? This season, the Wandering Trader is not selling any mini blocks, so he is completely useless. Don't need you at all, sir. You can go and... Pe oh, no, there's a drowned trident in the water. You can perish. Don't need you. Shoe. Yes, I have sugar canes, as I will demonstrate by collecting them all now. I have flowers which I've just broken, which I stole from Jesse B, who may have got them from the mainland, I'm not sure. I have wheat, which needs harvesting and planting. And if we head underground, I have quite a lot going on under there as well. You see, we've been busy for a few hours already, and I've done quite a lot of recording. If you want to check out all of the things that everyone got up to at the start of this world, then I have uploaded a separate long play video of the very beginning that brings us all the way up to this point here. Which means I can tell you about what I've done off camera since then. And that is to do an awful lot of mining. I've been down there in the deep slate levels with diamond pickaxes and not much else, getting lots and lots of diamonds and ores. And I even find a giant iron vein, which I mined out in completion, but I didn't have a neat fortune on my pickaxe. So as much as I did get many, many, many iron, I probably could have got more, but I don't really care. Over here, we have my avatar laying on Groover's bed, which JC stole, and then I stole off JC. And I've got myself a little base round here, and you can see by my player heads, I have already had... Oh, that's how many hours played. I've been playing for six hours already. I've had... I've had four deaths so far, which isn't too bad. So down in my mines, I've got a couple of geodes. I've got a place where I'm getting plenty of coal from. And because I've got plenty of coal and plenty of iron, I'm smelting those up. And as you can see, I've got a couple of stone cutters here which are particularly useful this season because our mini blocks have completely changed. As you saw, we don't get them from the Wandering Trader anymore. We get them just by crafting things. So if I grab myself perhaps some cobblestone, perhaps I'll grab myself a bit of deep slate, perhaps I'll even grab a block of lapis. Then I come to a stone cutter and I put these on. You can see the first thing that comes up is a deep slate mini block. And I get two of them just for crafting them. No more wandering trader. This is wonderful. And these are blocks, not entities, which means we can do so much more with them. It does mean that you can't put them on your head, which is a little bit of a shame. But they are blocks and blocks are not supposed to go on your head. And you can see in my hand, it's very tiny. Now, these mini blocks can be placed in all sorts of different ways. So I'm going to go up here. So we've got a nice flat surface so I can show you. You can place them on the ground like that. You can place them on the side of blocks and you can place them underneath blocks like that. And you can do even more than that. You can 
click on them to make them spin around, which is very handy. And if you're holding the same type of item that you've placed, so I've placed that blue lapis mini block there and I've got a piece in my hand, I can actually snap them to the corners of that block as well on the surface that they're facing. So for instance, if I get myself a spruce plank and I put it on there and I hold a spruce plank mini block, I can uh, adjust it around the corners of that, which means we can do some very interesting types of decoration. See, I could put a spruce mini block there and I could also, oh, I need some more, hang on a minute. Give me many of them. So yeah, I can snap that one there and have that one next to that one. And then I can put, if my avatar wasn't in the way, excuse me, Foxy No Tail, sorry about that. My bad, but you're going to have to die for a minute. I can put another one on there and have that snap there. And then if I get rid of that one, right, I put one on there, I can snap that there. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this? And then I can put another one there and snap that there. And I can put another one uh, there and then snap that there. And now I've got like a, well, a weird thing coming on on the side of my tree, which just means I can do so much more stuff with it. And then if I wanted to, I could spin those round and have it almost like a curve going around the tree. So there's many, many things we can do with these mini blocks. And hopefully that will give people a much bigger option for being creative and being excited by them and, you know, having fun actually making them rather than having to find them from the silly wandering trader. But well, enough about mini blocks. Let's get on with the episode. Or I guess we could talk about other add-ons that are on the server, but ones we had last season that I didn't really make a great deal of use on. One of them is placeable items, which means I can now make a placeable pickaxe and put that on here because that's where I'm keeping my pickaxes. Wow, look at that. That's fancy. Yes. Oh, very good. So obviously it is very nice having all of the spruce in the world, but I don't have any other types of wood and I would particularly like some dark oak. And I just happen to know somebody that's got plenty of dark oak, if you can just about make out over there. That is Sloy's ship. And I'm pretty sure it's made of dark oak. So I'm going to go and offer him a very valuable trade. And it is going to cost me some diamonds, but I'm going to double up my diamonds in the hopes that Sloy doesn't notice. If I take myself a diamond block... You're talking about mini blocks again, aren't you? I am, yes. And, and break it into two. To the untrained eye in your inventory, that looks like two diamond blocks. So I'm going to put that in my inventory. And I'm going to ask Sloy. Hey, Sloy. Can I buy some dark oak saplings from you? I have diamonds. Okay. He's in the nether at the moment, but he's hopefully going to make his way back to see me. And then I'm going to be rich. Well... No, I'm not. I've lost a diamond block. Jeez, I'm actually going to be giving him, like, four and a half diamonds worth of diamond mini block. But he doesn't know that. He'll think it's a real diamond block, unless he reads. Here we are. Yes, it is, of course, made of dark wood. There are. There's one of the sheep that Jesse, Ricky, Jen, and I placed the other day as a prank when they first went to the nether. Hopefully, Zloy will arrive any moment and be ready to trade saplings for my diamonds. I have come up with an even more genius plan. You see, Zloy has an anvil, and in order to disguise these as not mini blocks, I'm going to request the saplings. There we go. Oh, yes. Perfect. Excellent. It's all going to go very well. Mr. Zloy! Yep. Hi. What's up? I have a proposal for you. That can I understand. Be good. You are the man of many, many dark oak saplings, and I would require some, and. I will give you, because I'm very, very generous and I spent an awful long time mining downstairs, I will give you a whole diamond block for just four dark oak saplings. Mmm. So, at, uh, let's say, at a diamond per stack, that's gonna rob me at, of how many potential log sales? Um, well, the thing is... Because right I... now I basically have a monopoly. Well, if not for Beerstone. Yeah, and you don't, because that one next door's got trees on it that I could quite easily demolish and then, like, rebuild. It'd be fine. <laughs> it, it, look, you're not going to be selling me dark oak until I get bored of mining it, which will be, like, one or two trees. So it's two trees with the dark oak you're losing out. Okay? You make a really good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've played with you every single season of Truly Bedrock. Every single season when I when I start selling Dark Oak, you start buying it. So yeah, actually, I hate, yeah, you're I hate completely chopping right. trees. You're right on the money with this one. So, okay. 
I mean, a, a full diamond block is like a very generous price for these actually. So uh, here Excellent. you have the four sap saplings. There you go. Hmm. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, yeah, Foxy, did you do something with the resource packs on the server? Yeah, I made diamonds look small. Foxy, why can't I decraft it into the diamonds? Uh, you probably you just did glitch. Maybe relog. Thank you. Well, that went as good as can be expected, but at least we now have four dark oak saplings, and all we got to do is grow these things. However, all of my dirt is currently being used. I do have a bit more downstairs, but I'm going to plant a new area for my dark oak trees so that I've actually got room to grow them. I mean, I could go and plant them on the mail island, but then I risk other people stealing them. And I could probably do with a better axe to chop them down a bit quicker. And considering I'm so flush with diamonds, might as well make a diamond one. I'm rich. I've even made diamond block mini blocks. That's how rich I am. Stop talking about mini blocks. No, it's new. You should all don't download it from foxynotel.com immediately. I'm going to squirrel these dark oak trees out the back of the base so that people on the other side of the island won't be able to see them and come and steal them. And I guess, I guess we'll build it like here-ish. If you're wondering, that's a cobblestone generator. It's totally pointless because I've been mining and got so much cobblestone I can't possibly need any more. But, you know, it's nice to have one. And there we go. With a few torches round, that's our dark oak area done. Let's get this one planted and let's see if we can't get this thing going and get many, many dark oaks. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I need some more bone meal, guys. Although, having said that, I have sugar canes and not really anything to do with them. So I could get a composter. That might not be a bad idea. Amazing. Oh, I feel so rich already. Rich in dark oak. It's practically grown itself. It does. It literally has grown. I just got... Wow, I don't even need the bone meal. Okay, well, I'm going to put the composter down anyway. And I'm going to compost this sugar cane just to get some more... Wow, that's not ideal. Yeah, just to get some bone meal. And then, you know, I can bone meal the next one. <gasps> Jesse B is online. We need to go and give Jesse B a present. Jesse B. Yes. I have a present for you. <laughs> I like presents. Are you ready for this? Yes. The world's tiniest diamond. <laughs> we have mini blocks. Yes. <gasps> oh. I love. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. You can put I, them on the floor, right? Uh -huh. Or on the ceiling or on the wall. And mm -hmm. if you click them with the same block that you place them with, you will snap them to the corners of the block, right? Ooh. Or if you hold another block or just your bare hand, you can spin them around. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh, And they're oh. real blocks, so they're not laggy. And you make oh. them on a stone cutter, Jesse. <laughs> So basically, happiest of campers. Yes. Good. <laughs> right, well, I'll leave you with those, and you can keep the diamond. Ooh, thank you. I'm going to go clear off, because I've got some dark oak to be chopping, Jesse. Okay. Oh, did you get dark oak saplings? Yes, I traded uh, four saplings for a diamond block to Zloy, but it wasn't actually oh. a diamond block, it was a mini block. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, so it only cost me four and a half diamonds. I mean, that's not as bad at all. No, exactly. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, See you later. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, Foxy. Bye. Oh, hey, man. Oh. It's <laughs> I forget how close we are. I was like, I can still see your name. Yeah, I know. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. Oh, dear. Yeah, He's really yeah. not having a good time, is he? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Foxy. Bye, Jesse. Good news. Things on the dark oak front are going well. We now have another extra sapling, and I have a whole bunch of dark oak blocks downstairs, but I have had to craft myself a couple more hoes, and I've even bothered to get some shears this time because they really don't go very far when you're mining the leaves with them. And I was thinking I could probably steal some of these spruce leaves to put in the composter as well and see how we get on with those. And we've got just over two stacks there. How many bone meals will that give me? Not much by the looks of things. Wow, it's so slow composting. Put it in a hopper. You've got all the iron. That's it. I could do that, actually. That's a good idea. Oh, no. Oh, then I need another one. Oh, it's not worth it. It is. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's worth it. 
All right, the first farm we're building on Truly Bedrock Season 5 is going to be a composter. An automatic compostering machine. How hard could it be? The chest there, the barrel there even. The hopper there. The composter on top of the hopper. The hopper going in the top of that and another barrel on top. And then I just shove everything in there. Well, this is amazing. And then I will get free bone meal. How many have we got? We've already got three. This is excellent news. Grow, my pretty grow. Yay, it worked. Compostering for the win. Now, realistically, what I really need at this moment in time is some enchantments. Now, I have enough wood to make bookshelves. I have some sugar cane so I could make paper. And I have a couple of pieces of leather. But that's not really going to make me very many bookcases. I have the diamonds. I don't have any obsidian. So I could quite easily make myself an enchantment table. But I'm going to need a whole lot more leather than just a couple of pieces if I'm going to make bookshelves. So uh, we might have to go do a little bit of cow wrangling. We got an apple. This is good news because the food supply, I haven't actually mentioned food. I have 13 fish. That's it. Obviously, there's lots of fish around here and fishing rods are good. And we could get enchanting books from fishing as well. Considering there is a bug currently with Bedrock Edition fishing. You can see if I head over this way, past Jesse B's amazing house and over to ricky roy's raft he has some fishing rods and for whatever reason on minecraft bedrock edition 1.19.40 which is the version we're playing on the fishing is all kinds of broken all right where's the uh fishing rods there they are let's get a good one law two look at the sea mending look at the c3 law two on breaking three mending would like look at the c3 really but i shouldn't combine someone else's fishing rods okay normally when you're fishing it takes a little while for the bubbles to start coming towards your bobber. But you can see, for some reason, at the moment, it happens instantly, or almost instantly. As soon as your line goes in the water, the particles appear, and you can just fish and fish and fish and fish and get a ridiculous amount of things, which is absolutely fantastic. And what I'd really like to fish, although the food is helpful for my dinner, is some enchanted bug. And, and my own fishing rod, so I don't have to keep coming and stealing Ricky's. There we go, I got my own fishing rod. What type is it? Mending. Okay, it's not the best fishing rod, but it is a fishing rod. Here comes the fish. Oh, and more fishes. More fishes. More fishes. And I guess on this campfire here, we could probably pop our fish down on there and get it cooked while we're standing here. That's not a bad idea. I'm breaking three. Look of the C3. Okay, so if I combine these on an anvil, it might not have lore, but it will mend itself, and it's got look of the C3, which means we'll get even better things, and we don't keep having to come and... Ah! Oh! Steal. Ricky stuff. And here we go. My first anvil of the season. And this is going to go, I guess... Oh, where can we put it? I, I'm not putting anything there, because I'm going to have a door there. So I, I guess we don't need two stone cutters. So let's uh, put the anvil there instead. We'll put that stone cutter away for now because we don't need it. And let's mend these. 28? Six. Ah, that's a bit more reasonable. We've got six more bone meal. Can we grow another one? We can. Oh my goodness. It's a very tall one as well. And we've got spares. Can we grow? Oh, we got two. Jeez. Right. Campfire. I'm going to put that there. This is going to be my fishing spot. So I'll put my fishing rod in there. Nice and safe out of the way. Let's get these trees chopped down. Now, hey, stop it. Okay, let's see how our amazing fishing rod is. Is it going to be as good as Ricky's ones? Let's hope it is. Oh, yes, look at that. Instant bubbles. This is great. No need for lore. Here we go. Enchanted book already. Depth Strider. That'll do. Don't mind a bit of Depth Strider. There is a dolphin down there, and that brings me on to another add-on we have on this server. It was popularly requested when we had meetings in Truly Bedrock about what we're going to do to add dolphins to the server. And if I can get him to stand still, come here, you. I can click on him. Oh, jeez, come here. Quick before I drown. There we go. And now I am riding a dolphin. I have water breathing, which means I can swim about under the water and go very, very far without having to worry about drowning. And if I click on it with a piece of fish, it should go. There we go. Really, really fast. Jeez. So we can go long distances on dolphins, which is absolutely fantastic. 
Now, the should, when you're underwater, it should have a different animation with you actually holding onto the dolphin's fin. However, for whatever reason, we're having some very strange issues with the packs on Trudy Bedrock this time. As such, the wandering trader is spawning with his llamas, which he shouldn't because we've got that turned off. And my ri dolphin riding is not quite as it is expected to be. When you're out of the water like this, you are supposed to sit on it. But as soon as you go down into the water like this, when you're in third person, it should look like you're swimming alongside the dolphin. But we're not. But it works. So, you know, I'm not too fussed about that. All right, I need to get off now, dolphin. You may go and I may do some more fishing. Well, I've been fishing for a good while now and I've got quite a lot of stuff. Although it's not all in my inventory because I've been tidying up as I go, sleeping through the nights to keep things speedy, growing lots of dark oak and harvesting it. So let's go and see all of the amazing things we've got from just well, about an hour's worth of fishing. So we managed to get a bunch of books. We already had that one, but now we've got Depth Strider 3. We've got Mending and an Efficiency 4, which is amazing. Projectile Protection 4, which is great and fire protection three as well we've got a bunch of nautilus shells we've got a bunch of saddles and then here we got a bunch of new bows we already had those ones there but i've now got a power three one a mending power four punch two unbreaking three one a power three one and a couple more fishing rods as well and in here i have an absolutely ridiculous amount of fish now which is fantastic and what about the dark oak, you might be asking? Yes, I have many, many, many dark oaks now, which is absolutely fantastic, which means we're well on the way to gearing up. And I think it's about time we started spending some diamonds and really getting geared up. But I could probably do with a few more before I spend them. Yes, more diamonds. I have been down and gathered many, many more diamonds in the mines, and I just popped up here to do a little bit more fishing. But before I can start fishing, I've just found... A whole bunch of skelly horses. There's been a bit of a thunderstorm and I saw one of the horses and I just walked along here and it, of course, turned into these four horsemen of the apocalypse or whatever it's called. So, of course, we're going to have to deal with them. And it would be nice to get one of the horses if I can manage that without drowning and without dying. This could be quite tricky, but there we go. We got four horses out and... Oh, no, now, now there's a drowned. Oh, jeez. Well, we got horses. This is good news. Excellent news, right? I could do with some leads. Get rid of that guy. And let's see if we can can't, can't get one of these horses or at least one of these horses out of this pond. Uh, can they swim? They cannot swim. I'm gonna have to go to land somehow. Not oh, geez. Oh no, and now I'm gonna drown. Uh, yeah, didn't think that through. How am I gonna get it back to my base? I guess I can just tie them up underwater. So let's bring him back over here. Go and get myself some leaves, and we'll just tie them up down here for now. They can't, nothing can happen to them under the water. They'll be perfectly fine. Oh, jeez. Don't despawn, guys. I've got to go get some leads. Okay, I have my five leads, thanks to the Wandering Trader and their lavas. Lavas? Llamas. And I've got a couple of fence posts as well. So I'm just going to pop a fence post down here. See if I can find those horses. They've wandered off a little bit, but they haven't gone too far. They haven't despawned. This is good news. Right, you here. Thank you very much. And you, my friend. Come on here. There we go. Oh, yes. I don't think I can. Oh, I can swim up with them, so I can potentially get them on land. But yeah, this might not be impossible to actually get them on here. Oh, there's one already, look. There we go. Oh, both of them. Excellent. Let's put you on there. Right, where was your friend? Oh, there it is. At least we've got two, although this could be another trap, potentially. No, it is the horse. Excellent. Come with me, young man. Now, Jesse B did have a skeleton horse, and apparently it vanished. So, I'm going to take this one to Jesse B, because I'm very nice like that. Oh, uh, looks like she has got another one anyway. Oh, well. She's got two now. Good. All is well. We now have two skeleton horses. Not that we can do a great deal with them. And now, I can actually do some fishing get myself some enchanted books because i i mined the stacks with a diamond it took absolutely ages but i didn't have any uh, fortune so it's just totally wasted so I, I i just need a fortune book come on fishing give me a fortune book not a fish i want a fortune book so it turns out fishing regardless of how quickly you catch a fish on bedrock edition is pretty boring so I'm here on this flat world designing a new AFK fishing farm, which is very, very similar to the old ones we used to get on Java Edition. Now, I'm not 100% a fan of AFK fish farms, and I don't intend to run it to create lots of books and things to sell to the other server members, but 
it might be a useful tool for me to use to at least get some fortune stuff. And it's very simple. Got a couple of tripwire hooks, a piece of string, a note block with a piece of wool, some water on top of some hoppers going into a chest, and all we've got here is a very, very simple redstone line going into a sticky piston. And if I stand on here and I aim just at the right spot, which is around about down there, and engage an auto clicker to fire off every 250 milliseconds, then I should hopefully if all has gone well catch a few fish there we go there's one and there's two now it's not as quick as it is doing it on truly bedrock and getting the angle of your bobber is quite tricky to be fair but i, I think i'm getting the hang of it i just got to get it just in the right place and i know there's probably already a million different types of afk fish farms for bedrock edition that are probably hyper efficient and way better than mine but I like doing things my own way, you know, even when they don't always work out as well as I'd hoped them to. So I guess we should build it on the server. Okay, so I've gathered the items I think I'm going to need to build this thing. The only other thing I'm going to need is a bucket of water, which I just happen to have here. And I'm going to be building this thing in this room here, which isn't a room yet. So I'm going to have to do some digging before I can put this thing in place. And even though this is a diamond pickaxe, digging out this hole is decidedly slow. And I do already have one efficiency book, so it might not be a bad idea to go and put that on my pickaxe now so I don't have to spend my entire life digging through that stuff. And there it is. And it's got mending on it as well. Okay, Anvil, can I afford it? I can! I now have efficiency for mending pickaxe. This is excellent news, and that is... Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Well, my new room is just about complete. I am smelting some cobblestone into stone to make smooth stone to add the highlights for these little bits. But this is it, basically. So we go down here into here, and we're going to be having the fishing farm just at this point here. So I'm going to dig out this floor a little bit so I can put a couple of chests in. And if you're wondering why I'm doing slab floors, then so am I. Because I don't need to do those anymore, do we? <laughs> Mobs don't generally spawn uh, in places you don't want to. But old habits die hard, I guess. So let's make this bit level so we've got something to actually put the chests on. I guess it looks quite nice. And we're only going to have one chest for now. Although, actually, maybe we'll have two. Uh, no, we're just going to have the one chest for now, I think. So we're going to put a chest there. I'm going to put a hopper into the back, another hopper there, and another hopper there. Now, behind this hopper, we're also going to need to dig out the floor as well. This is where our piston is going to be going. So there we go. We'll replace those blocks there. We'll put our sticky piston there. And on top of the sticky piston, we're going to have the note block. Nice and easy so far. Then we need to dig out the floor a little bit more to the side. So we've got room to run our redstone. And the same thing on this. And maybe we don't need on that side. No redstone on that side. Okay. So next thing then is we need to create the bowl around where the water go in. So they're gonna water is gonna go above this hopper here. And then we need the point for the tripwire hook. So we'll put a block there for now. Oh no, geez, there for now. And break that. And this needs to have a block directly below it, like that. Then on this side, I've got rid of that block that shouldn't have been there. Put another one of those here, and we don't need to worry about anything underneath that because there's no redstone going on that one. And then all we need to do is having a couple of blocks around here to stop things going where they shouldn't. And it's a good idea to put a block on top of the note block so that when it's raised up, it doesn't just keep going ding. Because that's really annoying when it does. Tripwire hook there, tripwire hook there, and the string in the middle. Bucket of water inside the tripwire hook, apparently. How did I manage... Okay, let's break the string, jeez. <laughs> water in there, then tripwire hook on. And then we need a piece of redstone there, there, and there. And that is it. That's the redstone done. That's the whole thing done. That was easy. Jeez, let's go get my fishing rod and give it a go. There's no sky access, so it's going to be slow. Yes, it will be slow. I need to make sky access. You're absolutely right, and I will do that in a minute. Well, right now, I just want to test that it actually works. And hopefully, some of this smooth stone is coming along. Yes, it is. We can start filling our walls in so it doesn't look quite so horrible and janky behind this thing. Here we go. Lovely. And the reason I'm using smooth stone rather than andesite is because I've just about run out of andesite. Let's point roughly in the right place, which I believe is just about down the bottom corner, and engage my auto clicker. Fail miserably. There we go. All right, we've got it in. We've got the bobber in. We're going to catch a fish. It's taking its time. Any minute now. Doesn't seem like we're going to be catching many fish. There we go. We caught one. 
We got our first one. That was very slow, though. So, uh, I wonder... There we go. We've got a piece of fish. If we can make it better. So, first thing we're going to need to do is actually make a hole up to the surface. Now, before I do anything crazy, I need to make a button. There we go. I've got some buttons there. Because there is going to be water above there because we are underground, obviously. So, let's pop a button on there and then dig up a little bit more. Well, there we go. There's the water above. Now, that is technically sky access, I guess, but I don't know if it needs to be fully sky access, as in no water at all. Oh, jeez, we've got to drown down the hole. This is not good. Oh, we've got a couple of them. I, I could die. Okay, that was that was dangerous. We really don't want drowns falling at us through here. Um, I don't know if I can pluck glass there or not. We'll see if that improves things anyway. And the other thing I was thinking is actually to make this water area a bit bigger in the first place. So if I put those blocks there instead, and then I maybe stand at this point here, potentially, then I should have more room for my fishing rod. In fact, let's make the whole thing a whole lot wider. Why not? And we'll put a water source there, there, and that's it. All filled in. Okay. I have no idea if this is going to work at all. Probably not. But we'll find out. Which, of course, means I need to put my string back in. Not there, you moron. There, like that. There we go. And now, I'm a bit further away, but I think if I angle it right, as, as long as my bobber actually goes in the water, which it might, potentially. Why is it not going in the water? There we go. Went in the water, then. Hopefully, we'll have more room for some more fish. Maybe my auto-click is a bit fast. That worked! There we go. We've got the right position now. It's all working very nicely. We're catching fish. And the system is working. Here we go. Got another one. Oh, look, we got a name tag and some fish. So it does work. Amazing. Right, I'm going to finish decorating this room. Stand there for a while while I probably listen to a podcast or do some video editing or something like that. And see how we get on. Well, I have been AFK for about two and a half hours, although I'm not 100% sure it was working correctly the whole time. We do have some fish, and I've got a bunch of levels as well, which is good. So let's check the box. What have we got? Over 64 cod, a bunch of salmon, five name tags, even more fishing rods. If any of these have got lore on, that would be handy. That one's got lore too. Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get. And we've got Protection 3 on Breaking 3, Sharpness 3, and Loyalty 3 on there. We've got Protection 3, Bend of Arthropods, and Mending on there. And Efficiency 3 on there, so no Fortune books, which is a bit of a shame. But it could be worse. So due to the relatively small amount I got in that time, I can either say that this AFK fish farm is not particularly efficient, which it probably won't be because I had to close the hole in case drowns came down, or... It's because I need a Law 3 fishing rod. See, there's no law on there at all. So maybe in the future we can get a better one. But for now, I'm happy with that. And unfortunately, that is the end of this first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and check this video out. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.